Imagine a world without the internet, without cell phones, without personal computers. It's almost impossible to think about, right? In 1976, when computers were the size of entire rooms and the internet was just in its infancy, there were a pair of college dropouts infatuated with creating technology that was smaller and more usable. One of those dropouts was Steve Jobs, who became one of the most influential contributors to the technology that we find so essential to our daily lives that we sometimes think we can't live without it. In his parents' garage in 1976, Jobs realized the value of a smaller computer made by his friend Steve Wozniak. Jobs and Wozniak worked together to form the Macintosh computer, which they began selling under the brand name Apple in 1984. This was the beginning of Jobs' long history of taking other people's ideas and spinning them into wildly successful products. Flash forward to 1997, Jobs had not worked with Apple in about a decade. Sales were low and the company was struggling. Jobs, a minimalist at his core, who was rumored to have lived for years without furniture in his home, signed on as CEO and began simplifying Apple products. This narrow focus with a new marketing campaign telling users to think different was the stepping stone to the Apple we know today. From 1998 to his death in 2011, Jobs made Apple an innovation machine, turning out brand new, sometimes unheard of products every few years. In 2001, Apple introduced the iPod, which made portable music players and white earbuds popular for the next decade and changed the music industry with iTunes. Jobs did not invent the MP3 player, but the iPod did reinvent how people listen to music. It works like magic. Then, in 2007, Jobs would transform the MP3 player again by putting it into a cell phone. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. This is what iPhone is. Okay? The iPhone changed the way the world communicates. For the first time, cell phone users could see where they were on a map using the internet from the street. It was also the first time anyone could make a call from a device and send an email at the same time. The iPhone was also the first smartphone to have a touchscreen and an operating system that is the same as a computer's. As if the iPhone wasn't enough, just three years later, Jobs launched the iPad, a tablet that uses similar technology to the iPhone at a grander scale. More than just making innovative products, Jobs saw the value in making something look cool and desirable. Apple is now a household brand in more than 50% of American homes. As of 2013, 56% of Americans own a smartphone, and 25% of those smartphones are the iPhone. Jobs was not an easy man to deal with and work for. He pushed his subordinates to deliver the impossible, perfection. Did he ever reach perfection? Maybe not. But Steve Jobs did change the way we think about technology and use it in the 21st century.